And what's up, Vert? And welcome to BMHP's Table Etiquettes. We are giving out keys tonight. That's what Beloved is handing out like. Yeah, I see my people stuck in XYZ situations. Let's go ahead and hand out some keys. So, Vert, let's see the key that uh, you need to hear about at this time. Beloved, what does Virgo need to know? What does Berg need to know regarding the key to their life? What does Berg need to know? Wow. Relieve anxiety and practice positivity. You know what's interesting, Berg? Is um first off, you're the only zodiac sign that got two cards. Second off, you are the sign of the virgin. Right? You're the only like human <laughs> in the zodiac sign. But what's going on with this? You're split in two directions. On one hand, you want to go forward. On the other hand, you want to go back to a place. But you're not in the current moment. In the current moment, you feel very negative regarding the situation because you definitely want to move somewhere, take some type of of leap into either the unknown or something that you know, right? But you don't have a positive aspect regarding your life. Maybe because life for you has been somewhat of a disappointment. You never fully arriving to the, the places where you want to go, whether it's in relationships or jobs or ventures or whatever it is. It seems like you never arrive to that place and I feel like it bothers you because you see on the outside looking in it seems like other people are arriving to their destination without all the work right that you have to put in to make those things possible in your life because you're the sign that works for things right you're the sign that puts in more effort than any other sign but you can't figure out for the life of you why you can't seem to just get ahead, why you can't arrive to that place, why you can't like get that person you want, why you can obtain the contract or the job or whatever that you've been desiring. It just seems like you've you've packed for the trip, you're ready. You know, I'm sure this trunk is very well organized in there. But just waiting like where is this destination at? When when am I finally gonna arrive? to the destination but with this practice positivity it's like beloved wants you to enjoy the journey instead of looking out right why not enjoy the ride Berg? instead of looking out and uh waiting to get to the final destination the journey is the the most fun part of getting to a destination right and you're being guided with this sun energy it's a face on this sun it's a moon on this. So day and night, you're guided, Virg, right? This is what Beloved wants you to know. And this is why you should be positive. Because day or night, there's a, a Beloved is always with you no matter where you are. Something may happen for you or happen to you around Christmas time. Um, whether this is past or future energy, Christmas could be very symbolic or whatnot. Also, with the swan that's guiding, you could be in a twin flame journey. And this could be the part of the journey where you're needing to enjoy the ride, Virg. Right? I feel like you also deal with a lot of emotions, Virg. And your emotions are like up and down. Some you, Sometimes you have good days. Sometimes you have bad days. But I feel like that's for everybody. But your yours is a little different. Because you go in these spirals, like you'll be on a downward spiral, then you'll be on an uphill spiral, downhill, uphill. So your waves are a little different from everybody else. But let's go ahead and see what's surrounding this energy. Beloved, why is relieve anxiety and practice positivity here? I feel like this is your key right here. Your key to relieve anxiety is to, to be more positive. 
you know, I feel like you're already a critical sign. You can be very critical of yourself, hard on yourself. You're hard on other people because you're hard on yourself. It just flows naturally. But I feel like you need to lighten up, Bert. Don't be so hard on yourself. Take a moment to sit down, look back, and reflect on all that you've accomplished, all the things that you've done in your life, all the experiences that you've had, right? Oh, I hope that, that card leaves. This has been one to ride the bottom of the deck the whole time. Oh, keep shuffling. All right. What is... Why are these cards here for Virgo? What's the key for Virgo, please? 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 The world. The sun. The nine of pentacles. Oh, I see what's up. You got a lot on your plate, work. You have put a lot of things on yourself. And I feel like you're not seeing the positive in this situation. The positive in this situation is you have a lot of options. A lot of doors that's opening. Or a lot of doors that's open. You don't know where or how to choose these different doors because you got so many different doors open, right? This can also be par part of why... You may be feeling a little negative at this time, Berg, is because with so many options, so many different things to do, so many different uh, things on your plate, it's like, how do I do all these things? And Beloved is advising, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time, right? Do one thing at a time, Virgo. Do what you can do today, right? Just do it little by little so it's not so overwhelming, right? This world card. You are at the beginning of a new stage in your life, Virg. I don't think you understand this aspect, right? And that's why you're on this boat and you're looking out like, damn, where, where am I headed? Where am I going? Because whatever was going on in your previous chapter of your life, the last transit, the last couple years that part of your story is done this is like a new chapter in life for you i feel like something came that made you very happy in the past right and it feels like this happiness and joy was related to something you were doing in the world for the world something for social media something to have to do with um um so, some type of uh business some type of goal some type of um online i don't know platform or something something you did differently right you're starting to get your joy back I feel like for some time, Virgo, you were, I'm not going to say numb, but you were drained, right? And I feel like with you being drained of your energy for so long, I feel like you, you finally had an opportunity to like tap back into your true authentic self. Now, tapping into your true authentic self has brought you all this joy, all this happiness. You've reconnected with God, reconnected with source, reconnected with spirit. And then reconnecting, you found yourself in this moment, Virg. You found the thing that really makes you light up, right? Which is you being your authentic self. Not worry about what anybody thinks about you. Just being completely and solely Virgo at any given moment. And if anybody got anything to say or they don't like it, there's the door. I'm me, take me as I am type vibe, right? But also with this, it's like, if you look at majority of these cars, Virg, this is why Beloved is saying practice positivity because look at all of them smiling and being happy and having joy. Like you got blessings and stuff. In your life that other people would love to have, Virg. You have gifts, spiritual gifts, earthly gifts that people would love to have. You have so much 
to be grateful for in your life, right? But it's just something out there somewhere that you feel like you're missing. And it's Nine of Pentacles energy. It's like, yeah, I have everything, but this everything isn't enough. There has to be more. There's something else I need, right? And every time you feel that way, the color leaves from your spirit, right? Because she was getting her color back. She got her full color in the past. You were feeling different. You were feeling better. There was something that was driving you and, and making you feel happy and making you feel joyful. Yeah, you have everything now, but you don't have that sense of happiness that you had previously. Something in your life really made you happy, right? I feel like this thing that you keep holding on to, that beloved is trying to let, like, get you to release, is the very thing that's gonna make you happy because you need to give it to God so God can do what God needs to do with this thing so this thing can grow and produce and come towards you. Yeah, it may take some time, Bird. We all know this is the time taker. It may take some time, but it's coming. And you need to have faith and know that your time is coming. It may, it may be a long way off right now, but your time is coming, right? Stop worrying about the end of the journey. Stop worrying about the destination. Enjoy the ride. Enjoy the journey to this place that you're headed, this place that you're going. Enjoy not reaching the destination because Virgo once you reach this destination whatever this thing is in your life that you're getting ready to receive eventually right it's gonna be something else and then you're gonna be on a journey for that thing too you understand what I'm saying so your key to happiness is to enjoy the journey not looking at the past, not worried about the future, but being in the right now. If you guys need help being in the now, definitely, you know, look up Eckhart Tolle. That will help you at least give you some guidance on how to begin to be in the now. Meditation, sitting with yourself, being mindful, Trying any of those um, philosophies, I'll call it, will help you. But your key is to be in the now, Virg. Okay, beloved. Either way, Virg, that's the message I have for you. I thank you so much for tapping in to BMHP's Table Etiquettes. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, love, peace, and so take care.